Hi, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be looking at the debut album from the Traveling Wilburys, entitled Volume 1. Here we go. So the history of this album is that George Harrison was doing promotion for his comeback album Cloud Nine, and his record company Warner Brothers wanted him to record a B-side for a 12-inch single. Jeff Lynn, who produced Cloud Nine, has suggested getting maybe Roar Orbison to record some backing vocals or something on the new recording. They wanted to record the song quickly before George Harrison had to go back to London, and they knew that Bob Dylan had a studio in Los Angeles. George Harrison had always kept a few guitars at Tom Petty's house so he wouldn't have to lug them back and forth when he went, had to go to London. When George went to get his guitars, he invited Tom Petty to come down to the session. The song they ended up recording was Handle With Care, and the record company said it was too good to be released as a B-side, so they decided to release it as a single as The Traveling Wilburys. The album quickly followed with the writing and recording of nine more songs. The album was released in October of 1988, and it stayed several weeks at number three on the Billboard charts. Unfortunately, Roy Orbison passed away about two months after the album was released. The production on this album is very polished and very clean, which is a sort of a signature for Jeff Lynne. Each member contributed equally to the songwriting and the recording, and there wasn't really a clear leader, although George Harrison and Jeff Lynne were doing most of the production work. It's really collaboration in its truest form, and it's very obvious when you listen to it. Regardless of who's singing lead vocals, you can tell that it's uh, one entity all coming together to support the song. I think the best example of this is the song Margarita. Each member kind of has their own section where they sing, and sort of have their own chance to s sort of do something in the same song. Songs like Heading for the Light and Not Alone Anymore are the two songs that really stand out to me on this album, because when I think of the Traveling Wilburys, this is the kind of song that I really think of. These two songs, stylistically and the way they're structured and the production, are really the essence of the Traveling Wilburys. Not Alone Anymore is especially a standout to me because it features Roy Orbison on lead vocals, and in my opinion, Roy Orbison really is the greatest singer in the history of rock and roll. And towards the end of the song, I think it features really some of his finest work as a vocalist in his entire career. It's hard for me to pick a favorite song on this album, but if I had to pick, it would probably be Tweeter and the Monkey Man. It's the story of a couple who kind of go on a crime spree in New Jersey. It was primarily written by Bob Dylan and Tom Petty, and it's sort of a tongue-in-cheek tribute to uh, Bruce Springsteen. The lyrics refer to several Bruce Springsteen songs, including Mansion on the Hill, Stolen Car, uh, The River... Uh, Thunder Road, every, like a lot of Bruce Springsteen songs get mentioned in this song. And the overall setting of the song takes place in New Jersey, which Bruce Springsteen is a very prominent New Jersey figure. This is by far one of my favorite albums of all time. It's not hard to see why it did so well critically and commercially. It doesn't break any new musical ground or doesn't have a strong political message or anything like that, but it's just a lot of fun to listen to. And you can tell that these guys were having a lot of fun recording and writing this album. If you've only heard Handle With care and end of the line, I highly recommend picking this album up and giving it a good spin. So let me know what you guys think about The Traveling Wilburys Volume 1, and if you'd like to suggest a classic album for me to look at, uh, please leave that in the comments as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you know when we post new videos. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Facebook, and that's about it. Take it easy.